In this video, we're going to cover how to edit like Sunny V2. And more specifically, we're going to create this animation from one of his videos. You'll learn the basic concept of 3D layer animation, how to edit keyframes in the graph editor, as well as how to create this effect. So without further ado, let's begin. Inside Adobe Premiere Pro, we can organize the layout of the video. I'll create a 1920 by 1080 pixel black video and place it on the timeline. Once we adjust the desired length of the video, we can connect it to After Effects. Inside Adobe After Effects, you can import all your assets by dragging them in the project panel. You can import a whole file or specific items. All the assets that I'll be using throughout the video are found on Envato Elements. You can find it by clicking on the link in the description. First, I'm going to create this text and the line. Select the type tool and create a light box. Adjust the dimensions and font, and then select a pen tool and draw a straight line. Then adjust the stroke size and color. For a better organization of the workspace, you can pre-compose these layers into one composition. Next, lay out your images, and then adjust the scale so they're all the same size. You can use a mask if you need to crop any part. The next thing that we need to do is add blur. So go to effects and presets and type Gaussian blur. Then drag it onto the image. Here you can play with the value of blurriness. I'll leave it at 154. If you want to speed up the process, you can simply copy this effect and paste it on the rest of the layers. Now we're going to animate each image. I'll start off by adding a position effect. The start keyframe will have a position value of an image when it is outside of the frame, while the end keyframe will bring our image to the desired position. Now these are regular keyframes, so in order to apply it easy ease, we need to select them and press F9 on the keyboard. Below the position, we have opacity effect. Make sure that you create a set of keyframes so they're all in correlation with position keyframes. The first keyframe is set to 0% and end to 100%. Now I'm going to open the graph editor and make sure that opacity is selected. When you select a specific keyframe on the graph, this hand will appear. We're going to use it to tweak the angle of the curve. For the first keyframe, I'll hold the shift and drag it to the end of the graph. And for the end keyframe, I'll slightly tilt the hand towards the bottom, like this. Now you can just simply copy these effects and paste them on other layers. Keep in mind that we need to create a slight delay between each layer to create a similar effect to Sunny. The delay should not be longer than one second. After we animate the images and text, we can create a null object. This will be our parent layer, which we will use for all transformation effects needed for this part of the animation. I'll connect the rest of the layers to the null object. Now, after we do that, we can apply the zoom effect. So click on the transformation arrow and then select start and and scale if keyframes. Then open the graph editor, which we'll use to tweak our zooming effect. Now for this part, hold shift while dragging both first and last keyframe hand to ensure that we have a smooth effect. Your graph should look like this. I'm going to open the battle elements and try to find the background image and particle effect that are similar to the one in the video. I'll download this one and import it in After Effects. Make sure that they are below all previously created layers. Then by adjusting the blending mode, you can find which look fits you best. I'm going to select a classic color dodge. After we do that, we can also add a slight fade in effect to our background by creating an in and out keyframe for opacity. Now we are going to create this fake 3D effect. So first we need to pre-compose all these layers in one composition. 
except for the background and particle effect. Make sure that you select a checkbox for the 3D layer. Then we're going to create an in and out keyframes for Y rotation, which will create a very similar look to the Sunnies. Next, we're going to create this text reveal effect. So after you create a type box and type in the word, you can create a new mask. Here I created an in and out keyframes for every transformation effect. For the mask path in the first keyframe, I'm going to drag the right side to the left, which will create a reveal effect. Make sure that you also increase the mask feather to, for example, 73 pixels and mask expansion to 51 pixels. You do not need to add any changes to the out keyframe. As a final adjustment, select keyframes and press F9 to add easy ease. Finally, we're going to create this shaking effect that's being used in almost every sunny video. Create an adjustment layer that you'll place above all your layers. Then, in Effects and Presets, type in Turbulent Displace and drag it onto your adjustment layer. Lower the amount value to 3 and change the size to 85. Make sure that displacement is set to Turbulent Smooth. After you add these adjustments, you can open an effect in your timeline. And next to Evolution, you have this stopwatch logo. Select it while holding ALT on your keyboard. This will open an expression feature where you can type any code. First, type posterize time and in the FPS section, type in 4. Below posterize time, you need to type a random function and set it to 10,000. You can experiment with the amount, but in this case, I'll use this value. Now you have all important effects that Sunny used for this animation. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure that you hit like and subscribe until next time bye